Wouldn't it be great if you could have a way to easily see when your last activity date was with one of your prospects or when your next activity date is due with one of your prospects or accounts or contacts or opportunities? Hey, Brian Begley here with the NCloud9 YouTube channel. Please feel free to subscribe or like this video. Today we're going to talk about a topic that we have had a lot of clients ask us to do for them over the years for some reason. Dynamics doesn't include an out-of-the-box field to track when your last activity date was. And so what we do is uh, we add a field or two to every record that rolls that up so that you can easily report in a view or view on a form. And we're going to show you how to do that. So getting right into it, we're going to go into the PowerApps, make.powerapps.com environment. I'm going to go into the lead table. And to make this fast, I'm just going to go straight to my lead form. And I'm going to create fields or the columns right in the table. So first, let's start with creating the new table column for last activity date. Pretty straightforward. Give it a name, last activity date. Data type is going to be a date and time field. The format we want to be date only, but the behavior we're going to change from simple to a roll up field. And we'll show you how that works. So now on my form, I've created a section. I've labeled it activity dates. And I'm going to go to my field list. I'm going to find that last activity date field that I created. So I'm going to click, I find it there, drop it on the screen drop it underneath activity dates. I've already created a field called next activity due. We're gonna drop that on the form as well. I'm gonna show you how I built that field. But first let's open up the last activity date. So I'm gonna highlight this with my mouse. I'm gonna choose edit table column. And then I'm gonna to choose to edit the roll up behavior. Now the roll up behavior for this field is very straightforward to calculate out. So last activity date, all we need to do is say, what is the related entity? In this case, it's activities. And then we're gonna choose what's our aggregation. Now, it automatically comes up with the uh, correct aggregation for this field. It's the max of the actual end of any activity. So when you mark a task complete, when you mark a phone call as made, or received when you mark a calendar appoint as appointment as completed, the actual end date of that activity record gets filled in and then becomes filterable and recoverable in this view here. So I'm gonna save that definition. And I'm gonna close this up. And now I'm gonna choose the next activity due date field. Now I already created this, but let's look at this roll up field definition. It's also a roll up. On this next activity due field, we have a slightly different aggregation. It's the same relationship, all activities, but instead of being the max of the actual end, it's the min of the due dates. Now to make this work, your system administrator should make due dates a required field on your appointments, your phone calls, and your tasks in order for this to roll up on this particular field here. So one thing to keep in mind. So we're gonna click save and close. I've added both of these fields to the form. I'm gonna save my changes. And now we're gonna add these two fields into a view. Click my back button. I'm back on the leads. And I wanna to go to my views. We're gonna start with just changing one view, which is my open leads. When I choose my open leads, it brings up the uh, view, view editor, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna search on the term activity, and it shows me my two fields. So I'm gonna add last activity date and next activity due into my view. And I'm gonna save my changes and publish them out. You probably want to do this to other views, but for today, we're just showing you this. So once I've finished making all my changes, I'm going to publish them and I'm going to go back to Dynamics and now look at my open leads view. I have two new fields that have been added 
to the view, my last activity date, and my ne next activity due. Now, every time you publish a roll-up field, it does take about 12 hours for the roll-ups to calculate across all activities. But right now, I do see that I have some records where my last activity date was back on February 9th. I have another one with a next activity due date of the 13th. I have here, I have one for Gerald Stevens where the next activity due is fe February 4th. So I probably want to open up that record for Gerald, find that activity and follow up on it. We do have a field here that's also been added to the field, to the form to show the last activity date, next activity due. So just this one little change makes it a lot easier and a lot faster for salespeople to keep track of all their upcoming sales activities. Thank you for listening to our video today. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Otherwise, like and subscribe this video. Bye-bye.